What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be installing some cheap Amazon floor mats on my Toyota Tacoma. So this is the second cheap Amazon mod that I'm putting on my truck. A few weeks back, I did some LED fog lights that were like 60 bucks from Amazon. But if you guys like these cheap Amazon product videos, let me know by dropping a like on this video and hitting that subscribe button as I will probably have more in the future. Like I said, it's becoming a series at this point and these companies just keep sending me their stuff. So it's worth a video to check them out and see if they do well in the truck. So in today's video, as you already know from the title and thumbnail, I'm going to be installing some cheap Amazon floor mats into the truck. So I had a company reach out to me. They wanted to send me these. These are the Viwik or Viwik floor mats. So I'm going to go ahead and get the camera set up on the tripod and we'll do a quick unboxing of this. But first, I have an announcement to make. I got patches. So I finally went ahead and put it in an order for some patches. I've had some people asking me about them if I wanted to do them. And you know, it's kind of like the overland thing to do, which I don't really consider myself an overlander or my truck an overland build. It's just like an off-roading build and something I love to mod and you know mess with my truck. But that said, I do have patches in my truck from other people that have sent me theirs and a couple that I bought. So I went ahead and made some patches of my logo. So if you guys want one of these, let me know, drop a comment below, or I will link my email address in the description and you can shoot me an email asking about them. I haven't figured out fully the shipping details yet, but I believe they're gonna be around $10 shipped. So let me know if you want one and I'll get one sent out to you. All right, so with that said, let's get into this unboxing. All right, so I actually realized I wasn't showing you the front of the box, but this is what it looks like. It says for 2018 and 2020 Tacomas, and that's because the 2017 and 16 Tacomas don't have the little locking tabs on the passenger side for the floor mat. So I'm assuming this obviously has the holes for those locking tabs. You could probably still use these in the 2016 and 17, but they just won't lock into place, obviously. So, But otherwise, it says they are eco-friendly. Not sure what they mean by that. Uh, that they're a perfect fit, wear resistant, and easy to clean. So that sounds just about like any other floor mat on the market. So let's go ahead and get these opened. This is raw reactions right here. I haven't even opened this yet. Okay. All right, so my initial impression is they are a lot harder than the stock Tacoma all weather mats. These are what I imagine the weather techs are more similar to as in they're a little bit harder. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the ground. This is the rear one. Hopefully that kind of forms back up a little bit. But focusing on the front ones, there's no branding on them. Oh, there it is. So this is the passenger one. Like I said, the little locking tabs. The 2016 and 17 Tacomas do not have the tabs for this, but you could probably still use this. However, it has no little teeth or anything in the back, so it'll probably slide around on me a little bit. But the driver one, nothing crazy going on here really. I mean, it seems solid. Again, no little teeth on the back or anything. They're just smooth. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's not much to uh, all weather mats, but the most important part and what we're gonna go ahead and do right now is put them in the truck and see how they fit. In addition, it comes with a little instruction manual, which we are not gonna read. 
because we don't need instructions on how to put floor mats in the truck. Full disclaimer real quick before I put these in the truck, I actually prefer the softer all-weather mats. I love the stock Toyota ones that come with the Tacoma and you know I have no complaints, they're great. These obviously offer a little bit more protection probably like up the sides and the top and stuff. So that's the benefit for me of putting these in over the stock ones. Typically I would have gone with like the Husky liners because I had those in my Ford Focus before I got the Tacoma and I liked how those were soft and I liked the feel of those. And the reason I don't typically like the harder plastics is because I feel like you're a little bit slipperier, right? So like when you're trying to get your foot in the truck and your boots, boots, I don't wear boots, and your shoes are muddy or wet, you know, I live in Florida, it rains a lot, so when you step on this, they slide all around. So I'm actually really curious to see how the harder material performs because like I said, I've only ever had the soft ones. So this will be interesting for me. Uncharted territory, let's get them in the truck. All right, first things first, driver's side, gonna get the stock Tacoma all-weather mats out. Put my uh, knife away in the MMP down there. I have a video on that too, by the way, if you wanna check it out. Multi-mount panel from Desert Desert, super cool. But I think it might get in the way a little bit here, especially with the harder Viwick, Viwick mats. Um, and I say that because I take these out all the time to clean them and this kind of gets in the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the med kit off just because I know it's gonna be in the way. And then the uh, radio down there might as well. So we'll see, but let's get this out. I'm also going to take off the two patches that are down there because I think these new floor mats come up a little bit more. By the way, speaking of patches, I have patches for sale. Hit me up if you want one. Let me know. Dope. All right, the Bibwick looking kind of scuffy already, but let's throw her in there. All right, so the fit on them is actually a lot better than I expected. You know, this is like the only little gap right here, which I'm sure over time, you know, it might even out. And honestly, I could probably kind of shove it in the side if I wanted to, but it works with the multi-mount panel from Desert Does It. You know, I just had to lift this up and, you know, get this out of the way a little bit. But overall, they fit pretty well and they have pretty good coverage. So I'm actually kind of happy about these. All right, let's get the passenger ones out here. And then the Viwick. All right, so once again, the, uh, the fit is actually really good on them. You know, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with how well they fit for how cheap they are. I'd imagine they fit just as well as the Husky Liners or WeatherTech, so pretty happy about these so far. Let's go ahead and get the rear ones in. All right, so I got the rear ones in, but there is one issue that I did not foresee. Completely my fault, not Viwick's fault. But as you can see here, if you can see, it kind of doesn't sit flush on this side. And that's because they obviously designed this around, you know, a stock Tacoma, stock seats. But I have the seat jackers down there. Sorry, my truck is super messy, but this is about, you know, a, a solid half inch off the uh, ground there. So they obviously didn't anticipate that. So it doesn't really fit perfectly in my truck, but it would fit perfectly in a stock truck. And we see that on the passenger side, which I do not have the seat jackers on. So I'll go ahead over to that side just to show you that it does in fact fit perfectly in the back seat. All right, so as you can see on this side, it fits a lot better. You know, it still lifts up a little bit, but 
not nearly as much as the other side. Uh, this part down here, which I know you can't really see, isn't sitting flush right now, but I believe that will settle in because it was just bent in the box. But yeah, overall, honestly, it's pretty much a perfect fit in the back and the two fronts, which is super surprising. So I'm pleasantly surprised by these. All right, guys, there you have it. Those are the Viwix cheap Amazon all-weather floor mats put in the Tacoma. If I'm being honest, I think they are just as good, if not better, than the Husky liners. However, with the caveat that I have not had Husky liners in my Tacoma, I have had Husky liners in a previous vehicle, so I kind of speak from that experience, so it may not directly correlate. But honestly, I don't see a reason not to get these cheap Amazon floor mats. They fit nice, they feel okay, and they just seem like a solid product overall, you know. The biggest thing about these all-weather floor mats is the coverage and the fitment. And I think these Viwix all-weather floor mats tick both of those boxes and, you know, they're a solid product. That said, I will update my review if anything bad or good comes from these. I think they're going to be okay. You know, I like them just as much as the stock all-weather mats so far. Even though I said that I like the softer version, I think these will do just fine in my truck. So yeah guys, that's it for today's video. As always, I will leave a link in the description to these floor mats. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below and I will get back to you. Make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already, as well as the little notification bell icon next to the subscribe button so you're notified when new videos are coming out. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.